So welcome to the 2022 uh, graphics paper. This is question one. So part A, fill in the label for each part of the circle shown below uh, by selecting from the given list. So we have our selection here and we have our labels. So I'm going to start off here with a nice easy one. We've got a circle, so this is a semicircle, and that's my arrow for that. Okay, so semicircle, I'll tick that off and write it in here. Semicircle. Okay, my diameter. Okay, so here's my diameter running through the middle of my circle. I'll tick that off. A chord then, okay, so a chord is a line that runs across the circle from one side of the, of the circle to another but doesn't go through the center. So our diameter goes through the center and here is our chord that doesn't go through the center. So my label there is chord. Take that off. A segment then is the space created by a chord. Okay, so that green space created by our chord on the circle is a segment. I'll tick that off. A sector then, that's like a slice of pizza. Okay, so here's our slice of pizza, the blue section. So that is our sector. Tick that off also. Then what's left over is our circumference, which is the distance or the line going around the outside. So our circumference. So nice straightforward question to get us going. Part B. Shown uh, on the right below is a portion of a pizza A O B. So A to O to B. The portion A O B is divided into two equal slices. Is to be divided. So we're going to have to split this pizza slice into two. Part one. On the image below, draw a line from point O. So from point O here, that will divide portion A. OB into two equal slices and show all our construction. So I can't just come along and draw a line here. I need to show a construction for that. So what I'm going to use is dividing this angle into two equal parts. So my construction for that is compass set at any distance I want and put the point of my compass on O. Now swing an arc there. That finds me a point and another point. Then, with my compass again, I can set it to keep it at the same distance or move it. Okay, I've made mine a little bit bigger just for accuracy. But from now on, I can't change the measurement there. So I'm going to swing arc there. That's one point. Go to my other point. Swing an arc and that is going to find the bisecting line. So where those two arcs cross, I'm going to join back to O and I'll extend that on so that I split my pizza perfectly in half. Okay, and my pizza slice in half. So that's two equal slices. If you wanted to, you could measure that <coughs> um, angle with your protractor, but there's no need. So part two. If the measure of an angle of the sorry, if the measure of angle AOB is 60, so they're telling us this is 60 degrees total, how many of these portions would form a full circular pizza? So they're telling us 60 degrees is this angle. A full pizza, so if I have my pizza here, a full pizza going all the way around is going to be 360 degrees but I'm only going 60 degrees. So we're going to divide 360 degrees by 60 degrees and that is equal to 6. So the number of portions or the number of slices I'm going to get there is 6. 6 slices. On to part C then. The image on the right shows the design for a sweet jar. Complete the drawing of the sweet jar designed below by they're telling us each step that we're going to have to follow. So always try and do it in order. They're giving us hints or a guide as to complete the question. So we want to locate the center of the large circle. So here's our circle. Here's a circle there. 
but they want us to locate the centre of that. There is a construction for locating the centre of a circle. If I draw a chord, so any random chord, I'll just draw a random one here, and if I bisect that chord, that, will, that bisecting line will run through the middle of my circle. And if I draw another random chord here, so it will go maybe there, and if I bisect that chord, that will also run through the middle of my circle. So that's going to help me to locate that um, circle, or the centre of that circle. So I'm going to use just a colour just to highlight this for you. I use my yellow. So any chord I want. So that's a chord, that's one, and I'll go with another chord here. Random chords drawn. So my compass, I'm going to bisect this line. So compass set to any distance once it's more than half the length. Okay? So about right there, I'll swing an arc. I gotta keep that same distance on my compass come to the other side of my chord and swing another arc. And where those two arcs cross each other, I'll join them up and extend it through. Okay, so that line is running through the centre of my circle. But I don't know where exactly along that line. So that's where the second chord comes in. I'm going to bisect it also, so compass set to any distance again once it's more than half. Okay, where those two arcs cross each other. And I extend my bisector until I find my centre point there. So that's the centre of my large circle, and I'll tick that off. Now, looking at the um, Sorry, we'll just continue on, I suppose. Complete the drawing to show the image on the right and show all constructions clearly. So we wanna, if we're looking here, we've got center line running up along the middle of our page. Okay, that's gonna help me to locate some, some points, particularly at the top here. And I've also got my center line running across. So I'm gonna draw those center lines to begin with, just to show them. Center line here. Okay. So let's start up here with the lid of the jar. Okay, if I come down fifteen millimeters, that is going to find me that top portion and if I go up a radius of 12 so if I the distance from here to here is going to be 12 millimeters so if I go up 12 millimeters that will find me the center so these are my set squares I'm going to measure 15 down and I'll measure 12 up so that is the top of my jar bottom of my jar, excuse me, and my compass set to 12, if you want to even double check, I'm going to set my compass to 12 millimeters here, point to the compass on the top of the circle, I'll swing an arc, and yeah, that's bang on that mark that I had, and now I'll come up and draw that little uh, sphere or circle, just being patient with it, right, making sure that we keep pressure through the point of the pencil. If we need to go around it a couple, a point of the compass, if we need to go around it a couple of times, we just keep that pressure through the center. Okay, so that is my top, and then the bottom, we've got a triangular shape. The base of the triangle is 15 millimeters down from my uh, base of the circle. So I'll we'll measure 15 millimeters down.
and we have my little mark. So I'll just draw a light line there, so that's where the base is going to be. And then if we look here, we've got some light lines showing me that the width of that, or the base of that, that triangle will be the same as my diameter. So I'm going to extend those down. So that will give me the length of my base, which I can draw heavy. And then finally, I've got the red, that triangle joining up to the center of my circle. So join up to the center. It's only going to be heavy outside of the circle. Same this way. Turn it back. Show that. Okay, so that is my uh, sweet chart. I think I've got everything there. And it, just always go back and see. We've ticked that off. We've shown all the instructions. And there's nothing there about adding color or rendering. So we don't have to. They okay, always go back and check that because it's easy marks that you can pick up. So that was question one on the 2022 paper.